this time on highway through hell. Oh, a dump truck tips towards disaster. Trucks are in the air. A historic haul. The Sherman tank chassis puts Al. Oh man. On the edge. The express road to the bottom. And a season of mishaps. Really disappointing. As Jamie. I wish I had our rotator. Questioning the future. Why do I do this? Why do I keep fighting this battle? Roger Snow, eh? For this time of year. A late season storm. That's gonna be a winter forever. Has hit the Coquihalla Highway. Yeah, what truck spun out? Responding to the call, a 16 ton red wrecker. Hope for the best, expect the worst. Driven by 20 year old operator AJ Case. This is gonna be my first time pulling someone up the hill and looking forward to it. The medium duty wrecker is seeing more action than usual. That accident in the rotator has really hurt us. Weeks ago. Just a bad day for me. Jamie's LA rotator. Cab blown right off the back end. Was heavily damaged in a crash. Wow. Poor truck. Without the rotator, we don't really have that heavy recovery truck. Go ahead to your left and off to the body shop. Tonight, I think this is our guy right here. AJ learns his record. One of the two of them. We'll be pulling double duty. This is him here. This guy called us, so we're coming out for him. And then we can help the next guy. What do you have as a load? OK. This will be a challenge for AJ. It may look like a simple process just pulling guys up the hill, but it's not. His first Coquihalla toe-up on the hook. AJ prepares okay, okay. for a career milestone. I'm quite nervous. It's the first time I've ever done something like this. The truck's fighting for traction right now. It's difficult. There's definitely some things that can go wrong. Coca-Cola. This is my first tow up the hill. AJ's ride. It's hard. And chains are put to the test. A medium duty wrecker like this. I don't have as much traction as a big wrecker would. All right, give it some throttle and try and help me go up the hill here. I'm starting to hear the chains going clicky clack they could just grab something and come right apart. I don't want to stop on the hill here. There's a flat spot and that's where we'll stop. Okay. Feels pretty good bringing this truck up the coke. You're good to go. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. A successful tow up on the infamous highway. It's very stressful. This is the first one I've done ever. Is a massive notch in his belt. But AJ, coming up on our second one for the night, he 
isn't finished yet. I really don't want to break instead of tire chains, because that'll just put me away for the night. Arriving at the second semi. <laughs> oh no. He sees a bad sign. Try drive trailer, does that mean you're heavy? Yeah. More than thousand. Okay. This wrecker is way too small for this. It doesn't have the weight. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna get this guy out. But I'm still gonna give it a shot. This guy is heavy. You're a wrecker guy on the coke. There's lots of things you learn, and one of them is everybody blows chains off doing pull-ups. Right here, let go. I could just give up, but I don't want to leave this guy hanging. Without chains for added traction, towing is no longer an option. Here's what we're gonna do. I'll winch you until we start to get over. Okay. Let's go. AJ turns to his wrecker's 16-ton winch. I'm fighting and fighting and fighting. It's like a slide at a playground. Really hard to just climb right back up. AJ is forced to recognize his medium-duty wrecker. Are you kidding me? Is outmatched. If I push my truck over the limit, I'm just gonna break it. Your rear end won't come back out. I'm gonna put up my white flag and I'm gonna call for some help. I won't leave you stranded. I'll give you someone else to use. Yeah, but I can't do it myself, yeah. right? AJ gives the extra job. Hey there. Do you have any heavies on the coat tonight? To another company. Here's the driver. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You don't have the right equipment. You just got to know when to call it quits. I apologize, man. No. You went over and above. AJ made the right call. It would be very terrible for us to lose another record. Oh, still in there, eh? The guy that called us, we got up the hill, not a problem. I just wish I was able to do more. Getting in a heavy record would mean the world to me. But my time will come. Thank you, driver. Next morning, uh, back on the coke. A 25 ton highway hauler rolls in. We're just super busy. With Jamie Davis behind the wheel. I wish I had our rotator. Even though 130 is a big truck, I'm pretty limited. It's meant to go cross country on the pavement. Jamie arrives to a semi in deep snow. Ask him. We continue to be very busy. Long haulers are doing their thing, but we've lost major pieces of equipment that are big in the heavy recovery side. Okay, okay grab that cable off. You're out there to take care of the customers. Yeah, you're gonna be good just as long as you get off the roading. Yeah. I need that extra iron to fulfill those promises. Okay, let's get out of here. It's been a long freaking winter.
Bring it on. 120 kilometers southwest. Damn, so that's what the storm looks like, huh? In the Fraser Valley, spring has finally arrived. Warming up good. MSA Towing's 50 ton heads to a call. It's going to be interesting. With Gersim Rinvan Wait, or Sim. We're heading down into a farm here in Abbotsford. Riding shotgun, his father, Kerpal. We are so excited to do the job. We don't have to ask for the help. We have the machinery to support the business. Following behind in the 35 ton. We love this truck. It's a beast. Kerpal's eldest son, Gersharn, or G. Having the moose is a big help when you need a second truck with muscle and pulling power. It's a great winching truck. Pulling into the field. They get their first look. Oh, it. At the fully loaded wreck. There's a dump truck that's loaded and leading pretty hard. It's almost about to flip. It looks pretty bad. Oh, boy, boy, boy. This is not something simple. It's very tough. That's no good. On a farm in the valley. Uh -huh. um. Team MSA faces a fully loaded dump truck oh, it. on unstable ground. The dump truck was dumping a load, and there was a soft ground, and he tipped it over. There's dump trucks everywhere. Loads of nutrient-rich soil must be brought in to replenish fields washed out by floods. This farm was flooded last year. Over a year ago, historic floods devastated Abbotsford's farmland. Your boat lightning. MSA was on scene, supporting the community in the aftermath. Do you need any hay? Yeah. Okay, I have a 450 bales. You can have them. We are feeling proud to be helping the neighbors and all the community. Good, good. Today, efforts to avoid future floods are on hold until they can recover the truck. It's important for us to get this guy out so he's able to get back to work. Let's just get him to scoop this out as much as he can. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get the excavator in there and try to get as much soil out as possible. Can you bucket the operator? Operator? It reduces the weight and it's much easier for us to work. But the big machine, the dump truck, it will flip over. Is the only thing keeping the wreck upright. Let's just get rigged up. It won't come this way then. Okay. We are going to hold the truck with the with the cables. It will help stop tipping the truck. Okay, go. With the wreckers now taking the weight, the excavator can finally get back to work. Good. We are ready to pull the dirt out. He's going to empty it now. That was a good scoop. With the 12 tons of soil offloaded, they can focus on recovering the truck. Sim. Come look at it. Leads the charge. 
My sons are getting better and better. Under the tailgate and through. Now they tell me what to do. That's all we need. Just throw that line over top. This line is going from underneath the truck. We're going to try to kind of like cradle it and just lift it out of this hole. OK, go. Go. Tighten it up a bit more. More? Yeah. Wait, right, hold it. Hold on. The, hold it, hold it there. Our rigging. Check the other side. Beautiful day for a drive. 100 kilometers northeast. Let's Up the Fraser Canyon. Rolls a big green record. But Al Quiring. Not every day is a tow truck day. Will soon be riding a different workhorse. Some days we have bulldozer days. His trusty D9 dozer. It's a husky little machine. The job I'm doing today is a little bit off the beaten path from towing on the Coquihalla. At the base of a forest service road, it's only the start of Al's journey. Yeah, it's in the clouds, but we're going up somewhere up that way. We're gonna go and recover a yarder. A yarder is a piece of logging equipment used to wrangle felled trees up extreme banks. It's like a clothesline. Those logs come back to the yarder. Today, pretty steep grades and uh, long descents. Before the dozer tackles the journey ahead. We're going up uh, four kilometers of some of the worst logging roads. It needs its front blade. Because the weight of what I'm gonna be towing, it's nice to have that extra 20, 25,000 pounds on the front of the machine. Supporting Al today. My dad's gonna unload the blade for the dozer. Is his father, Bob Quiry. Bob has owned and operated Quiring Towing since 1975. Hook on and go. I grew up in my dad's tow truck. He's got a lot more experience than me. It's not that heavy. It's tough being in a father-son relationship and being boss and employee. It's an easier uh, trailer spike. But at the same time, it's a blessing too. Beauty. Another day in paradise. <laughs> OK, contact. I'm happy to be working alongside him. All right, thank you. It doesn't happen as much anymore. So we'll cherish that as it is. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're going mountain goading. <laughs> With a maximum speed of seven kilometers per hour. The dozer's a heavy ride. Al sets off. Oh, up four kilometers of punishing road. Full body abuse. It's like being a punching bag, right? Oh, man. My way just, just came out. An hour and a half southwest. MSA's dump truck recovery. Okay, hold it there. Has hit a snag. There's a lot of sharp edges. I'm really worried that our rigging will be damaged. Kerpal. See this pipe there? There's enough pipes. Throw them in the line. Sees a solution with leftover irrigation pipe. My dad is resourceful. Sometimes we just have to work with what we have. Yeah, 
But as they tighten up the fortified rigging, Sam. The diesel in there is not leaking, and yeah. it's gonna start leaking then. Yeah. Sees another threat. The fuel tank is bent. If we start pulling, the tank will bust and uh, the fuel will be everywhere. You should come in the front and just lift it right up. Then the, the tank won't hit the ground. Yeah. You take that one out. I don't think that's going to fit. With the 35 ton stabilizing the back and the 50 ton at the front, they'll lift and pull the dump truck onto solid ground. That's it. Walker Paul takes the controls of the 50 ton. Go ahead, pull your cable. And G runs the 35 ton. Sim keeps eyes on the tank. You need to go up higher. And coordinates the pull. Wanna just go boom up more? We need to lift it so we can create clearance for the fuel tanks to make sure they don't get punctured and leak. Keep going up, keep going up. With 28,000 pounds on the line. Just like that. Team MSA. Tell him he's got too much weight on him. Are on high alert. Listening for any creaks and bangs. That tells us there's more resistance. And it's caught up on something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, his truck's right in the air, man. On an Abbotsford farm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A 14 ton dump truck. I'm watching. As MSA's 50 ton maxed out. Getting the front end off the ground, it's not really working for us. We don't want to do any further damage. Yeah, but what can you do now? Okay, um. Get there, driver, get there. Because it's not coming out smoothly, we have to do something. Carlos, start, Carlo. With the driver, now adding power from drive axles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Coordination is key. Tell him to not give it too much throttle. See if dad can give him a pull forward. She's coming, she's coming. Give her, give her, give her. One last tug. And the wreck reaches solid ground. The recovery is done. We are feeling great. The fuel tank remains intact. The customer's happy. We saved his truck from any additional damage. Glad it's out. The driver now can get back to his job and help these people rebuild their farm. All set, ready to go. I'm almost semi-retired. My sons are great. They are taking the calls now and doing all the major work. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Our northeast. Oh man. Al's hour long ride on the D9. It's a bulldozer, it doesn't ride like an escalade. Has finally reached its end. Oh, that was a shaky ride up. The yarder he's come for is more than meets the eye. It's a Sherman tank chassis. This all. 
underneath took the allies to freedom. During World War II, the Sherman tank was the workhorse of the Allied ground troops. After the war, there was a huge surplus of Sherman tank chassis converted into logging equipment. It's cool. Now, Al's tasked with removing the former tank. We gotta clear this machine out. It's going in to get repaired. Actual military uh, towing equipment. Okay. Al's big dozer hooks on. This is all easy. The fun part is going to be going down. With a combined weight of 200,000 pounds, Al begins the four kilometer journey back down the mountain. It's a steep, windy slope. There's a lot of momentum, a lot of power. Last thing you want to have is things get out of control. If you go off here, there's the express road to the bottom. Al clears the cliffs. But nearing the bottom, friction. The steep terrain. Lots of friction. Brakes are getting real hot. Takes its toll on the dozer. Dragging the brakes all the way down. The brakes are near on fire. The brakes are hot. On a steep forest service road. The brakes are near on fire. The heat is on for Al's 200,000 pound tow. Just let things cool down for a minute. Well, if you stop while you can. Trying to stop later when your brakes are failed, it's not gonna end so good. After some time to cool off. Here we go. Al's D9. back on track. <laughs> Shaky. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Al's four kilometer journey <laughs> comes to an end. We're down. I'm glad we're out of there now. With the yarder loaded and on its way. Good job there, guys. Al hits the road. This winter we had some different jobs working on the Coca Hauler, the Fraser Valley, or up in the back roads. As different as it possibly can be. That's probably the biggest thing that keeps me going back. One hundred fifty kilometers east in British Columbia's southern interior. Reliable Towing's military rotator is on a back road quest. There's some big rocks we gotta crawl over. With operator Andy Cullum. It's a fun experience to learn what it's like to drive these old military vehicles. Along for the ride. Sounds like a good time to me. 
James Luke. This is the first time I've been up here. It's gonna be an adventure. Today we're gonna go and recover a broken down 4x4. But before they reach their target, the pair make a quick stop. When the settlers came through, this is where they used to put their horses up at night. Kind of cool. The old horse barn is one of the original buildings from way back. All built by hand, no chainsaws. This is definitely not something you see every day. But the barn is more than just a historic artifact. From here, it turns into a more of a trail. It's the start of the Whipsaw Trail. A pioneer route blazed in 1849 by fur traders. But more recently, it's become an off-roading playground and an area. Get ready to take this group up here. And he knows all too well. Spare time, I like to go out off-road, get away from where the cell phone works. But today, now comes the fun part. And he's tackling the narrow trail. <laughs> In Reliable's six by six rotator. It's about three feet wider than what normally goes through this trail. Jeez. It's a pretty rough trail in a military truck like this. Oh. It's a goat trail. Ah! In the mountains south of Princeton, ah. on the Whipsaw Trail, Andy oh. and James are running a backwoods gauntlet. I'm getting whipped with branches. I love it. It is the bumpiest ride I've ever had through here. Take the shortcut. <laughs> Andy is in his element, putting the military rotator to the test. the best. Up ahead. There it is. Andy spots their target. Yep. But with the shortcut. Oh my god. There's one more obstacle to overcome. There's always the chance it could get stuck. Woo. And then we're stuck. It's deep. but that's what that truck's built for. Safely on the other side, the team gets their first look at the pickup that didn't fare as well in the water. The floor mats are soaked. Everything was soaked. Mechanically, the truck is Possibly pretty damaged, you never know. With Andy at the turret controls, James rigs up. Should be good there. Now to make it out with as minimal damage as possible. Okay, let's go. Going through the swamp. With all the tight corners, 
that's gonna be extra challenging. A 27 kilometer journey. Whoa. Back down the whipsaw. Nerve wracking with the truck swinging on the back. Is made even tougher. An unwieldy load. We need to take this one slow. Make sure we don't cause damage to the vehicle. We gotta be extra careful. As they pass the old horse barn. <laughs> road flattens out definitely not an average job for us it's pretty awesome and it's happy trails for the team get out get it. we'll go up there again soon success away we go reliable has grown a lot over the last three or four years no matter what comes our way, we'll have people there to get the job done. Love it. Anybody tell me what Highway 1's like? 120 kilometers west. That's pretty quiet. In Hope, BC. It's gonna come tumbling down. Jamie takes advantage of some downtime. Okay, give her. To improve the safety of the shop's wood stove. We've been just non-stop. So whenever we can get a chance to catch up. We do. All right. Good. It could cause us a big fire. We don't want to have that. All right, going up. The new stack is a protective step against any more unwanted disasters. The heavy wrecker business is a tough business. Okay. It's hard work. This past winter, Jamie was hit harder than ever. Not only did we have the Mac burning, wow, but now the rotator getting smashed up. It was a sheet of ice. Really disappointing. It took me right to the bottom in such a dark place. Tonight, I'm at the point where I'm taking things day by day. I could easily retire. Why do I keep fighting this battle? As Jamie grapples with his thoughts, an unexpected visitor arrives at the yard. Continue. <laughs> what the heck are you doing, man? At Jamie's yard in Hope. Continue. I heard you got a new wood stove. He has a surprise visitor. Former tow operator and old friend, Colin McLean. Colin was such a great guy to work with. How you been? Good, man. Nice yeah, to see you. It's good to see you. Yeah. He's a guy that I miss around the place. I haven't seen you in so long now, I forgot what you look like almost. Put her in gear. Four years ago, All right. Colin was Jamie's lead heavy operator. <laughs> Woo! Got some good times <laughs> working with him. It's definitely a lot of work. I don't know how you old-timers did it back in the day. <laughs> we have a really good friendship. 
Yeah, a lot of memories. Decent, Jimmy. Decent. Now. Yeah, a little reminiscing. He has another surprise for Jamie. Wow. That's a long time ago. Yeah. Do you miss the towing side of things? Every now and then. Looking at the photos with Colin brings back those memories. Everybody else sitting around the old wood stove. Yeah. It makes me realize that time is precious. That's what makes me want to turn the page. Yesterday was a bad day, tomorrow's a new day. These are good pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Weeks later. I was like the sun is shining. Good day. Jamie is turning the page with a new addition to his fleet. They stay to get out. A 50 ton heavy. We picked it up down in California. That he's dubbed HR 100. It's bang on what we need. It's an eye catcher. A new one. And this truck is gorgeous. It's from my era. I really love it. It's a 1988, but it's virtually brand new. It's been sitting in a garage its whole life. So everything is just perfect. But the 50 ton is more than just good looks. This is really filling the gap where the rotator would be. You get a wreck. You need these big monsters to lift up big weight. For Jamie, it's the start of a new beginning. Coming back from some pretty dark times. This truck, it kind of got me back in the game again. We've had lots of challenges this year, but no way I'm stopping. You know, I'm really looking forward to the next few years. We're building a better fleet. Everything that we're doing, it feels good. You just keep rolling on. Keep right on trucking. 